it's been um, two or three months ago since I posted my video about the crepuscular rays and uh, how to not measure the distance to the sun. But I just stumbled across this video from the marble a year and a half ago and something just popped into my head. So let's just see what he has to say first. If the sun were actually at a distance of 93 million miles away, all the rays from the sun would hit the earth parallel. But the fact of the matter is there's pictures and you've seen these things more than likely or you're seeing one right here of the sun seemingly sitting right above the clouds where the rays kind of splay out into these different directions showing where if you trace the rays back to the, these you know sing, this singular source these called these are called cr crepuscular rays if you trace these rays back to the source from each side you'll see it goes straight to the sun and you can pretty much triangulate the location of the sun using those sun rays and here is that um, crepuscular rays image with the lines pointing towards the sun to the clouds but we actually have something called perspective and this is the small and local sun with the crepuscular rays and the one behind there is actually 400 times bigger and 400 times further away from SketchUp Dave. Here. So this is perspective. But my biggest problem is, even though I have a huge problem with a 3000 mile high sun, that it changes dramatically with a 5 mile high sun. Because then it's just skimming the surface like this. This is five miles above the model. There are many flat earth believers living in the States, also the marble. Do you see the prob problem with that? This is the Tropic of Cancer. The border between Mexico and the United States is somewhere down here. I don't know where the marble is, but. Uh, there's more than five miles between the Tropic of Cancer and the border. And uh, yeah, if they're not living in a heliocentric world, they're living in a egocentric world because there's no way, it's just impossible that the sun would be anywhere here when we actually have something called Tropic of Cancer. And for me, living in Norway down here, I don't even know how that would work because in the summertime I can actually see the sun somewhere up here, five miles and above Africa here. How would that work? Or anywhere across the northern hemisphere or southern for that matter. If you're not living inside Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. The small and local sun is just pure impossible. So any flat earth believers trying to debunk the Tropic of Cancer or Tropic of Capricorn, good luck. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.